Hi everyone, this is Jack from Historical Archery and today we're going to be reviewing this new Mantru bow that I have. This is a Yarha 2, the Model 2 Mantru bow by Ali Bow. It's heavier than the first model that you guys know of. Um, the maximum draw weight on these are 75 pounds at 35 inches. So they're heavier than the original ones were, which were I think 55 pounds or closer to 60 pounds. So we get a little bit more draw weight um, for the same draw length. Of course, the Imperial Strength Bow is still the heaviest Mantru Bow, but of course um, those things can't be pulled to 35 inches. But I, in my personal opinion, I think you know the historical Mantru Archer would not be pulling 35 inch draw lengths. Um, for the average height because of people back then were shorter. I think more realistically they would be pulling under 34 inches uh, Just because people back then were shorter for the average person now one of the problems I actually have With draw length is the arrows and then with the points which these points have you get an extra two inches of draw length so that's about 34 inches of draw length with these arrows. I can't get 35 inches with these carbon arrows and they're 200 spine um, maybe if I find somewhere more custom I can probably get it, but uh, I'd like to hear your recommendations. I cannot shoot wood arrows at the archery range here. Uh, well, I can shoot wood arrows, I just can't shoot uh, arrows with broadheads. And Bakken points for them is considered as uh, broadheads. So this is why I shoot carbon, uh, so I can shoot in the indoor archery range. I don't know where you can find 34 inch or 35 inch 200 spine arrows. And if you do, it probably is very expensive. These are still pretty cheap. Um, so uh, because of the extender head here, I get extra draw length. So I get about 34 inches of draw length uh, with these uh, arrows. Another thing to note is um, I put salt inside the arrow so that you really get, um, you really get uh, the weight. But uh, I like the way these arrows are. Uh, they're from Akamos. So this is the bow I use from Ali Bow. Um, it's fiberglass core for the limbs and then the carbon belly. The bow is very similar to the, the first uh, Yarha. It also has this, which looks like carbon layer. It's either carbon layer or just a glazed layer on the back and the belly, which kind of looks like horn when it's black, which I like. Um, and cosmetically, it's a basic, simple fiberglass um, Manchurian style bow. Um, and it's got the brace height of Manchurian bows, if you can see. Uh, it's got a decent amount of brace height. Um, the historical ones, some of them are even a larger brace height than this, which um, because they want that really long, they're really obsessed with long fleshing, so uh, that's one reason to have it very, very long with the brace height. Um, this one doesn't need that much, plus my fleshings are shorter than that. And then I have mulberry seas with uh, horn uh, overlays at the, uh, at the tips for the seas for strengthening. And of course, you have the string bridges and a, I believe, Dacron string. Uh, so, we'll be doing some shooting with this. You can feel the power of these. Now this is, these arrows are 1,235 grains, so shooting with 75 pounds or 35s, well, 72 at 34 roughly.
Compared to the Yaha 1, I'm very happy that it's much heavier. But, you know, having the plain color, this is your standard issue, Yarha 2. So, <laughs> that's the one thing I don't like about it. It's just that it looks too much like the Yarha 1. So, unless you want to increase your draw weight, I think there's really no reason to get Yarha 2. Um, and again, it would be nice to have options to customize it, making it look more, you know, historical, maybe with birch bark, painted with tiger, whatever paint if you want. But these are options, of course. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love this thing. Now, it would be also be super nice I, that if Alibo starts experimenting with organic strings. Of course, you gotta pay way more than that, than, than these uh, synthetic strings. That would be an alternative option because obviously they didn't have fast flight or Dacron back in the day. So it'd be nice to, you know, check those things out. Um, but yeah, overall, good shooting experience as long as you have the right GPP and definitely shoot it with a Manchu ring or else you're really missing out on the experience. But I think the Manchu Yarha 2 is a good experience for people who want to bump up the draw weight to 80 pounds at 35 inches.